hi all so today in this video uh, we will be learning about uh, how to take screenshot in playwright okay so playwright has some very good cli arguments uh, like we have already learned about this dash dash headed and dash dash browser browser channel slow motion device right so here you can see there is another uh, commands uh, command available that is screenshot so what it is saying like uh, you need to give uh, this is actually a keyword so you need to use this equals to and then you need to mention like whether you want to uh, take screenshot after this each test okay so if you make it on that means after every or each test it will take a screenshot okay even if it is failure then also it will take the screenshot at the end of the test okay uh, and then if you make it off then by default it is off so it's mentioned like default is off so if you do not give this tag or uh, this you do not give this cli commands then it is by default will be off and if you want to take the screenshot only on failure in that case you need to pass this argument okay so let's try it so i'm using pytest and minus s minus v and then I want to execute in headed and in the default Chromium browser. Okay, so next we need to use this dash dash screenshot equals to uh, we want to execute in on state. That means after each test, it should take a screenshot. Now let's see what is happening. Okay, I am deleting this folder. Actually, I was doing some testing so uh, I created it so let me delete it okay so let me run it now let's see what is happening so our test is executing it is it is it is the same tests which we earlier uh, automated so nothing new so these three tests passed and now if I see there is a new folder gets created right it was not there earlier so now after running this test with this command uh, dash dash screenshot uh, this folder gets created in this folder there is another three subfolders right and so what are these subfolders is like these are for each test for each test it is creating one subfolder so as you can see test 01 test 02 test 03 so inside test 01 we have one screenshot so that is the screenshot it took when the test finished okay so if I open it open in Explorer and here if I open it double click it so you can see I text the screenshot for which test this is for uh, login with valid credentials so we can see like uh, the dashboard page is currently showing so that means our test is passing so very good so if we have the requirement like after each test uh, sometimes client needs like screenshot after each test okay in that scenario you can put uh, this thing so you can share this folder or maybe for your reference purpose also you can put it but uh, ideally we only should use I mean we should only use a screenshot as the screenshot equals to only on failure so what was what is that uh, that is like this statement only on failure so it will take screenshot only if uh, our test is getting failed so right now our test is passing so it will not take any screenshot so let me um, let me okay I am using here not so I am making it a false assertion okay so that is why let's see this part is because this, this will be obviously true right and when I'm using not that means it is false so assertion would be failed so this is just just for uh, for the demo purpose so let's make it only on failure okay okay so it is saying one fail to passed that is expected assertion error logout is not successful assertion not true okay 
so that's great and now let's see whether we got a screenshot only on failure yes you can see we got screenshot for test 01 uh, test 01 by test yeah so uh, this is the file name and then uh, this is the test name okay test 0 to logout so in logout we got the screenshot for failing okay so although it is actually perfectly working but we just uh, wanted to see uh, this scenario like uh, I mean whether it's taking screenshot only on failure or not so that is why we made it and and the off is already we know right if you do not give anything it should be off so I'm not showing it okay apart from these three that we learned like uh, that we learned like how we can take screenshot after ending the test or at the end of the test right now let's see we want to take screenshot after some uh, let's say there are a multiple assertion okay or maybe uh, your test is a bit lengthier and you need to take screenshot uh, like after this test test uh, after this line okay maybe it is a requirement from your client like uh, they need screenshot after this line or whatever maybe this there is a session and if the assertion pass then you need to take a screenshot whatever reason okay so now what we can do so let me get a good place so I am taking the screenshot after clicking on this burger menu okay if I click on the burger menu this pop-up should be coming right the, in that place I want to take a screenshot okay so for that what you can do you come here you just have to search with screenshot here and you will get this element screenshot and not element this full page screenshot so um, the full face screenshot is a screenshot of full scrollable page so if there is a like this this is a scrollable page right so it will take the whole page screenshot okay not just the view one okay so it will take all the screenshot all this page okay if there is uh, this this is not scrollable then in that case it will just take this part but if it is scrollable then it will take the whole page, full page screenshot okay so let's copy this and not this one this one or I can click on it and click on it here and put it okay so I am taking a screenshot and by default it will create the screenshot.png file in the root directory so after inside this directory playwright demo yt okay and let's say you want to create a folder in that case it should like uh, you can mention like screenshots and you can give like this or maybe like this okay so it should create a screenshot on the fly and then it should create the screenshot.png inside that folder okay and now I'm not giving this um, at the end one or maybe we can give both so that's fine so let's run it so this is test zero to log out and I am marking it as I mean just removed this not keyword which is not required now so I am making it just like this screenshot as the screenshot only on failure so let's see what is happening whether this test results folder would be there or not okay that we need to see so test results folder should not be there because that's how Playwright is working so it automatically deleted this test results folder as there is no screenshot so you can see one folder gets created which is the screenshot which we have mentioned here and inside the screenshot it is creating this screenshot.png file and if I open it you can see it took the screenshot of the full page you can see this full page is there not just this page which you can see in the browser the, the fully fully scrollable page is getting screenshot okay so it just click on this browser menu icon and if you see like uh, this is not a viewer right so because uh, maybe uh, it is when it is taking this screenshot in that case it's not properly visible right so in that case what we can do we can just uh, just take the normal screenshot that we can also try so just delete this part and then run it once again and this time I am making a new folder which is screenshots 
so mostly this this folder this folder would be there but uh, it will be creating another new folder okay so three passed again and this time it is creating another folder i mean it created another folder and here this is the screenshot.png so opening it so this time also we can see the same way it is getting i don't know why it is not fully viewable so uh, maybe it is issue with the playwright let me check but yeah this is how it is getting it is taking the screenshot well i'll check it if why it is take uh, why it is getting eliminated this part the left part but i mean if i open chrome browser and if i go to the source demo website and if i log in with standard user let's see how it is looking actually and if i click on it yeah so it should take the full part maybe it is taking too fast that is why i'm not sure exactly because uh, if i take see the screenshot here it is just taking this two part only it should take the whole part from here to here so okay maybe i will check it and uh yep so that's it for today if you have any questions let me know thank you for watching